Hey everybody, this is Dave, your shipyard modeler, with a feature video on a uh, 1-700 scale uh, Imperial Japanese Navy destroyer, uh, the Hatsuhiro. I'm sorry, the Hatsushimo. Not the Hatsuhiro, this is the Hatsushimo. Um, now this had uh, one of the rear um, main gun turrets removed and was beefed up um, on the anti-aircraft side with uh, two extra tri-mount, tri tri-barrel uh, anti-aircraft gun cannons. I'm not sure exactly what caliber they were. Um, this particular kit, it's the Aoshima Fujimi uh, Minicraft model, and uh, this was a really substandard kit. I had lots of trouble with it. Uh, it was uh, not fully molded. I had to like build the tops of the turrets and the and the uh, torpedo launchers um, because they were just like big craters in the top I mean not just dimples but <laughs> there wasn't any top uh, so I had to make new tops for the uh, turrets um, what else uh, the barrels were not formed right and I had to replace the barrels on the forward turret and one of the rear turrets uh, the smokestack was like half formed I tried to fill it and it didn't do that great of a job um, all in all, it's an okay build, uh, but the kit had such trouble. I had such, the kit was so bad that, um, and I had to do so much to it that, you know, I didn't do it all perfect. That's all I can say. It still came out nice, and the customers uh, that I built this for is getting a hefty discount on it, um, or he can return it for a rebuild, whichever he wants to do. Um, I went ahead and sent it out because... Uh, the customer still owes me like 50 bucks for the build so what I'm saying is if you want to take this ship and get take a $50 discount on it that's fine normally the ships cost $80 79.95 that includes the cost of the kit and shipping is additional so you got to pay the shipping on top of that um, for the for me to ship it to you you see why because I, I dry dock them and go through a whole long process to pack these things up it takes an hour or so maybe two to get them packaged so anyway um, I usually charge like ten to thirteen dollars to ship them to you, and seventy nine ninety five for the build. And that includes paint, the kit, all that. So it's basically eighty bucks plus shipping. And this kit actually, the the it came out pretty decent. You have to look at it pretty close to see the defects in it. Of course, I'm looking at it with four times magnifying glass and a and a secondary big magnifying glass and a and a really bright light. And these pictures were taken in a flash. So. Um, you know, it's the harshest lighting condition as possible. I, I usually shoot my ships in with the final pictures. Uh, so this kit, well, you know, the kit was bad. The build was okay. Um, it displays well at display distance of a couple of feet. But when you get, like, really close and look at it, um, you will see the defects on the kit. So anyway, that happens now and then, um, unfortunately. Uh, the Minicraft Fujimi... Um, Aoshima kits aren't the best kits in the world. This kit also has extra parts that I fabricated um, to, you know, uh, spruce it up a little bit, give it more detail, and make it look like a little bit larger scale ship. So anyway, this is my feature on the uh, Hatsushimo, which was a, which was kind of a frustrating build. Um, I hope with your modeling supplies, your bring that I that that I listed at the for my destroyer builds. I hope you included, um, I forgot to include that you're going to need a, a colorful vocabulary <laughs> to build these ships. Uh, especially when a part goes boing and you have to spend an hour looking for it. So anyway, this is Dave, the shipyard modeler with a feature of a substandard kit built up anyway of the Hatsushimo.